Bill Harris Alice Faye Show. For your enjoyment, here is the Bill Harris Alice Faye Show, written by Ray Singer and Dick Chevrolet, with Elliot Lewis, Walter Tetley, Robert North, Janine Roos, Ann Whitfield, Walter Scharf and his music, yours truly, Bill Foreman, and starring Alice Faye and Bill Harris. <laughs> At Alice's suggestion, Phil and Frankie have been attending a first aid class so they could help in the civilian defense effort. Last night, their instructor gave them a bandaging lesson to practice, and now as we look in, they are just finishing their homework. <laughs> <laughs> Said we couldn't do it. Uh, hey, look at that. Neat bandaging job, ain't it, Remley? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, Curly. We know what we're doing every minute. Every minute. Too bad we didn't have a live person to work on instead of this thing. Well, you know, Remley, we can't have everything. <laughs> hey, Willie, how do you like the bandaging job we did? Get this gauze off of my face! <laughs> Uh-oh, the bandage ain't tight enough. I can still hear him. Huh? Look, I'll just wrap it around his face a little tighter like this. Don't you dare, Philip, I'm warning you. There, he's completely covered. <laughs> I bandaged him from head to toe And there ain't a single opening Thanks to me What do you mean, thanks to you? What did you do? I filled in the cracks with cement <laughs> <laughs> Good, good, good <laughs> Hey, you know our first aid teacher's gonna be proud of us I can just see her face when we bring this into class <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Curly, you pour a little cement over his head And I'll even it out with the trowel Okay <laughs> Phil, what have you fellas been doing in here all morning? I... Phil... Where on earth did you get that sloppy-looking mummy? <laughs> it ain't a mummy, but you're close. <laughs> this is the most gruesome-looking thing I've ever seen. That's no way to talk about your brother, Willie. <laughs> That's Willie? Yeah. <laughs> Looks good, don't he? <laughs> now, Bill Harris, you get those bandages off him right away. But, honey, this is our homework. Besides, he's all right in there. I'll show you. <laughs> hey, Willie... Are you all right in there? <laughs> Didn't answer. Well, let me listen, I'll tell you. He's still alive, his heart's beating nice and fast. <laughs> 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 or is that his watch? <laughs> I hope it's his watch. I gave it to him for Christmas. Oh, Bill Harris, what have you done? Poor Willie can't breathe. Now take that bandage off his head immediately. Okay, okay. Hand me that sledgehammer, Remley. Yeah. <laughs> Bill, don't you... Oh, Willie. Willie, are you all right? Speak to me. Say something. Sis, for the last time, let's go to Reno and get rid of this beast! <laughs> so what's the idea of bandaging you, Willie, like this? Well, we're just following our teacher's instructions. She told us to work on the dummy. That's the only one we could find <laughs> What's the matter with you guys? You stupid or something? Now wait a minute <laughs> Don't be picking on me I'm only taking this course because you insisted I don't have to learn about first aid I know all about it You do, huh? Supposing Willie had passed out What would you have done? I know what to do when a guy passes out All right, what do you do? You put him under a cold shower Give him plenty of black coffee And a can of cold tomatoes <laughs> <laughs> the sure cure Works on Remley every week <laughs> You fellas better forget about this first aid course But Alice, we want to do something to help our country Go join the other side <laughs> Oh, honey, listen to us Because Frank is right We ought to do something Well, if, if you want to help Why don't you do the one thing you're suited for? How would sinking an eight ball in the side pocket help the country? <laughs> William, I'll thank you to keep one foot on the floor when you say that. Now, look, why don't you fellas go to one of the army camps and, and entertain the boys? Hey, that's a great idea. Frankie, you and me can do the same act we used to do in the Coast Guard. Yeah. The guys love that. Oh, that'll be wonderful, fellas. And, and I'll go along and be in the act with no, you. No, 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 honey, no. You'd be out of place You wouldn't fit 
What do you mean? This is the army. There'll be 10,000 guys there. They don't want to see a woman. <laughs> what army are you talking about? <laughs> Look, Alice, do me a favor. Will you go call the USO and find out if they want any entertainers in this area? All right, Phil. Hey, Curly, we'll be sensational. I got a great way to open the act. You sing. Yeah, and then we'll get off to a great... Frankie, you want a little wonga to sing? <laughs> yeah, and I want you to sing Oh, What a Face, your new Victor recording that just came out yesterday and is already sweeping the country and is destined to become a great hit. Gee, that's nice of you to say that, Frankie. Thank you. You're welcome. Now take your thumb out of my eye. <laughs> He carries her picture in his pocket. Twas taken the day he went to sea. He carries her picture in his locket. Though she is as ugly as can be. Oh, what a face. Oh, what a face. It's a disgrace. It's a disgrace. To be showing it in any public place. One morning he took her to a pig farm. He told her to wait down by the rail. But when he returned, he couldn't find her. The farmer had put her up for sale. Oh, what a face. Oh, what a face. It's a disgrace. It's a disgrace. To be showing it in any public place. She always liked to watch the horses when they were racing at the track. Until the day she wandered near the stable And the jockey threw a saddle on her back Oh, what a kisser what a Oh, what a mishap oh, my hat. To be showing it in any public trap Her father arranged for her to marry Some fella who had never seen the bride but when she raised the veil to let him kiss her, he screamed and then committed suicide. Oh, what a face. Oh, face is mere. It's a disgrace. It's a disgrace to be showing it in any public place. He carried her picture in his pocket. He kept it till his ship went down at sea. T'was then that he took the little locket and packed it in a box and set it free. Now that picture in the locket Is floating around from sea to sea And if by chance you ever find it Don't open it up or you will see That awful face It's a disgrace To be showing it in any public place Gee, I'm crazy about those love ballads. Huh? <laughs> Curly, with that kind of entertainment, you think they'll want us at a camp? Are you kidding, Dwight? <laughs> <laughs> Why, as soon as they find out it's me, they'll beg us to come. Well, Phil, I called the USA, and it's all set. Oh, honey, you mean the USO, don't you? USO. Well, it's what in the USA. Time? You're half right. <laughs> <laughs> We, hi, hey, listen, Remley, you hear that? I told you what they did. Hey, Alice, did you tell them that it was me who was coming up to entertain? Yes, but they said to come anyway. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing is, Phil, they want us to appear at the camp tonight. The show they had planned was canceled. Well, what's the difference? We can do it tonight. We remember the act. Hey, Remley, huh? we open with you and me and the girl, and then we... Oh, nuts. What's the matter? Well, don't you remember? We used to work with a homely girl. We got laughs off her looks, remember? We gotta have a homely girl for the act. Oh, yeah. Well, where are we gonna get a homely girl? That... Oh, Alice. <laughs> Hold it, beanbag. <laughs> no, no, I didn't mean it that way, Alice. I thought maybe you could make up to look homely. Yeah, you know, honey. Pin your hair up, tie one of them bandanas around it, and put some goo all over your face, and then smear it with... 
You know, like you look when you go to bed at night. <laughs> all right, all right. If we're gonna have to have the act ready for tonight, we'd better get started rehearsing. Huh? Okay, now look, honey, you saw the act. You remember the jokes, don't you? Who doesn't? Oh, <laughs> uh, Phil, you're not gonna do those tired old chestnuts. Wait a minute, them jokes ain't old. Now let's run through the act. Now remember, we come on with an opening song like this. I'm Harris. I'm Remley. I'm Faye. We're here to entertain you today With songs and happy chatter And bits of snappy patter We're Harris and Remley and Faye <laughs> <laughs> well, What are you laughing at? Nothing's happened yet We know what's coming <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Harris did the doctor tell you how to prevent catching all those colds? Yep, he told me to wear a nightcap when I went to bed. I tried it, but I couldn't sleep. Why not? The ginger ale kept dripping in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get us a booth at the fair, Mother. We're popping that corn. <laughs> Say, Remley, yeah. I hear your new girl. I hear that your new girlfriend is an Irish Colleen. What does she look like? Well, you know that song, A Little Bit of Heaven Fell From Out the Sky One Day? Yeah, what about it? When it fell, it must have hit her right in a kisser. Ah! <laughs> Where'd you meet my girl, Harris? Yoo-hoo! Frankie! Yoo-hoo! Why, here comes McCushler now. <laughs> yeah, hiya, Cush. Fresh. <laughs> What makes you think you can pick up a strange girl whose phone number is Hollywood 8426? <laughs> if a man answers, that's me. <laughs> I found that way in the morning. This is Irish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, McCushler, why are you late for our appointment? I couldn't help it. On the way down, I gave a couple of service men a lift. Why should that make you late? I haven't got a car and it ain't easy carrying those guys on the back. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> Don't overdo it, honey. You're getting a little too old for that leg kicking. <laughs> <laughs> well, be that as it may, I gotta get going. I got a new job. I'm a sopper in a shipyard. A sopper in a shipyard? Yeah. When they break a bottle of champagne over a ship, I stay down below and sop it up. <laughs> and so, fellas, it's time to go now, but keep remembering... I'm Harris. I'm Remley. I'm Faye. We're, We're sorry to leave you today. We hope you like our chatter and bits of snappy patter. We're Harris and Remley and Faye. They must be kidding. Harris and Remley and Faye. Jenny, dear! <laughs> what are you characters trying to do? We're rehearsing our act. This is an act? <laughs> yeah, this is an act. Didn't you hear our routines? Yeah, I've been standing here listening to them corny jokes. What are you doing, getting ready for television? <laughs> No, we're not getting ready for television. We're going to do this act at the army camps. You can't do that to our boys. <laughs> Ain't it bad enough they was drafted? Oh, keep quiet. We got talent. The government asked us to help out in the last war. They even sent us overseas to entertain, and the troops loved us. They did? I'm surprised those Japanese soldiers were able to understand you. <laughs> we did it for the American side. Didn't we, Remley? <laughs> I think so. I'm pretty sure we did it. Well, Julius, Julius, I'm going to be in the act, too. Don't do it, Miss Faye. Don't become a party to their subversive activity. All right. <laughs> we can prove we got a good act. We're going to the camp right now, and if you come along, smart guy, you can see for yourself. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Say, fellas, it's late. It'll take us a couple of hours to get to the camp. We'd better go. I I'll get my coat, and, and you get the car out. All right, honey, okay. Come on, Frankie. Yep. And you too, Julius. Philip, before you go, may I ask a favor? Oh, oh, it's you, Willie. Gee, I forgot about you. What do you want? 
Will you please take the rest of the bandages off my body? <laughs> I've got time now, Willie, later. All right, Alice, you ready? I'll be with you as soon as I get my music. Now I'm supposed to say what music? She says the music for my song. I say what song and zip, she's into it like. <laughs> Who cares if the sky cares to fall in the sea? Who cares what banks fail in your girl? Long as you've got a kiss that conquers. Why should I care? Life is one long jubilee So long as I care for you And you care for me Let it rain and thunder Let a million firms go under We are not concerned with Stocks and bonds that we've been I love you and you love me and that's how it will always be Nothing else can ever mean a thing Who cares if the pulpit chatters Love's the only thing that matters Who cares if the sky cares to fall in the sea Who cares what banks fail in Yonkers Long as you've got a kiss that conquers why should I care? Life is one long jubilee As long as I care for you And you care for me Hey, this is a big camp. And don't the soldiers look smart in their uniforms? They sure do. Gee, I wish I was old enough to be drafted. So do I. <laughs> you wish you was in the army, Mr. Harris? No, I wish you was. <laughs> hey, how do we get in this place? Oh, we just go up to the gate and show them our passes. Oh, my goodness, they told me to stop at the USO and pick up passes, and I forgot. Oh, gosh, now how are we going to get honey, in? Honey, honey, you're forgetting you're with Phil Harris. <laughs> Everybody recognizes me. My face opens any door. <laughs> so that's how your face got that way, from opening doors. <laughs> Kid, I wish you'd be quiet, will you, please? As soon as that guard over there sees me, he'll open them gates like that. Watch this. All right, son, you can open them gates now and let us in. No tourists allowed on a post. Tourists? Take another look, bud. Now tell me, who am I? You don't know either, huh? You mean to stand there in your big fat army shoes and tell me that you don't know who I am? No, I don't. Oh, this guy's been in too long. <laughs> Look, bud, I'll give you a hint. Won't you come with me to Alabama? Let's go see my dear old mammy. She's frying eggs and frolling hammy. That's what I like about the South. Yeah. <laughs> now, do you know who I am? Yeah, but even if you are K. Kaiser, you're not getting that. <laughs> Hey, Kaiser. <laughs> if he'd have said Burl Ives or Von Monroe, but Kay Kaiser. <laughs> I'd have even settled for Rudy Valley. <laughs> Soldier, I guess I'm going to have to tell you who I am. I'm, uh, Phil Harris. It don't make no difference who you are. You're not getting in here without a pass. Step aside, Curly. I'll get it. Look, soldier, my name is Remley, and I... Remley? <laughs> you mean Frenchy Remley, the world's greatest left-hand guitar player? <laughs> the man who's heard by millions of people on the radio every Sunday? In person? <laughs> now do I get in? Beat it, you bum. <laughs> Wait a minute, 
Now, nobody can talk to me now, like that Frank, and get away with it. Frank, you control yourself. You fellas aren't doing so well. I'll show you how to get in. Oh, uh, soldier, will you please open the gate for me? Now, look, I told you I won't. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well. <laughs> Keep the general lit in the window, Sergeant. I'm coming in late tonight. Ah. <laughs> Hold it, soldier. This girl happens to be... Why it's your four, eh? <laughs> <laughs> now then, what do you want, Blondie? Uh, can I come in? No, but if you wait there, I'll come out. <laughs> I'd rather come in, and I'm sure a great, big, handsome man like you wouldn't refuse little old me, <laughs> would you? Curly, what's she trying to do? <laughs> Darn if I know. I think she's giving an invitation to Sophie Tucker. <laughs> Hey, look, soldier, I'm trying to tell Get you... Get lost, Grandpa. <laughs> you know something, honey? You're a, you're a cute dish. <laughs> you soldiers are all alike. They told me that during the last war. And the war before that, and the war before <laughs> that. All war right! Be- Just trying to get us in. Well, you don't have to act like a bilious Tallulah. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the guy ain't gonna let us in. Oh, he will if I tell him who I am. Uh, look, soldier... I happen to be Alice Faye. Alice Faye? Uh-huh. The big moving picture star from 20th Century Fox? Oh, gee, Miss Faye, I've always wanted to meet you. Would you do me a big favor? What is it? Can you get me a pinup picture of Betty Grable? <laughs> <laughs> Betty Grable, boy, I always... Wait a minute, Alice, wait a minute. Can't you see we're wasting our time? This guy ain't gonna let us in. Now, you wait here with Julius, and me and Frankie will try another gate. Come on, Remley. Yeah. I'm going to get in this place if I have to tear it apart. Come on, Julius. Let's you and I sit in the car. Yeah, you wait in the car, Miss Faye. I want to talk to this soldier. <laughs> hey, mister. Gee, you're lucky to be in the Army. Yeah, ain't I? <laughs> <laughs> How did you manage to get in? I got pulled. <laughs> A bribe here, a bribe there. I'd love to be in uniform, but I'm not old enough. Hey, maybe you can help me. Would you tell me how to get in? I'll make a deal with you. I'll tell you how to get in if you tell me how to get out. I don't understand. I've always wanted to be in the service. I think it's the finest thing in the world for young fellas. You know, the, the, the good food and the... U- hey... Who are all them civilians with the suitcases getting out of the bus? Ah, uh, that's a new batch of draftees just coming in. Now, run along, kid. I got work to do. All right, you guys. Ball in. And I'm talking. You're in the army now. Left face. Forward hatch. Half who he or half who he. Which one of you guys is hopping? <laughs> Oh, those are the new draftees, huh? That's one way of getting in. I wonder hey, if... Hey, Julius, where's Alice? She's sitting in the car. Did you have any luck at the other gate? Nah, they wouldn't let us in there either. There must be some way of getting in here. Uh, fellas, I think I know a way you two can get in here. Oh, you do? How? Do you see that bunch of civilians marching in now? The guys with the suitcases? Yeah, who are they? Uh... That's the band that's going to play for the USO show. <laughs> Just get on the end of the line and follow them. Yeah? Oh, well, thanks, kid. We'll follow them. Hey, look, in the meantime, you go get Alice. Come on, Remley. Yeah. At last, we're going to get in. <laughs> and how are you going to get in? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a heel doing this to our army. But, say la guerre. <laughs> All right, you monkeys, you're soldiers now. Break ranks and report to barracks. (laughs) 
Remley. <laughs> what? How'd we get these GI haircuts? <laughs> These uniforms. Take a look at these uniforms. My coat is shorter than the haircut. <laughs> How about these shoes? Don't Get a bother look. me, will you? I'm still weak from the shots they gave me. <laughs> Curly, what happened to us? Well, now let me see. We followed these civilians in. Two guys grabbed us, cut our hair, threw uniforms on us, and the next thing I knew, we were standing here with a tin plate full of spam. <laughs> Who said this country can't mobilize fast? Mobilize? Remley, we've been drafted. Watch your language, Curly. <laughs> hey, we must have gotten the wrong line. What are we going to do? Now, don't get excited, don't you understand? It's all a mistake. Come on, we're going to get out of here. Come That's on. It's a big place. How do we get out? Well, we get somebody to open the gate for us. There's got to be some... Hey. Hey, look there. Mm-hmm. There comes a nice-looking old man. See him? Yeah. The guy with the three stars on his shoulder. <laughs> What do three stars mean? Who oh, knows? I'll ask him. Hmm. Hey, Hennessy! <laughs> Are you talking to me, soldier? You don't see nobody else around, do you? <laughs> Stand at attention and salute me. Look, Mac, I'm a hundred years old. I ain't got no time to play no games with you. <laughs> what a flagrant display of insubordination. I have a good mind to have Take you... Take it easy, Pop. Yeah, watch your blood pressure. <laughs> Better watch that blood, Doc. At your age, you're liable to pop wide open. You, can... <laughs> you men know who I am. Hey, Remley, maybe hmm? this is Kay Kaiser. <laughs> <laughs> I happen to be the CO. Do you know what CO means? Yes. It's an abbreviation for company. We went to school, you know <laughs> Now tell me, what does INC mean? Well, that means incorporated In other words, when a company has a board of directors, they... Quiet! <laughs> you're the only one who's talking <laughs> Silence! But when you're talking to a superior officer, stand at attention Okay, okay, if you want to make like MacArthur, I'll go along with the gag I'm at attention <laughs> Look smart, soldier Look smart? That leaves you out, Remley Fire! Throw your chest out and pull your stomach in When you throw your chest out, pull your stomach in I can't, at my age, they go together <laughs> I'm going to have you court-martialed for this What company are you with? Well... First, I was with Fitz Shampoo. <laughs> then I went with Rexall, and they found out, and I ain't got no sponsor. <laughs> Would you care to sponsor us? I think we could peddle generals on the air. You can get us cheap. We'd love to work. Oh, no. How do they expect me to get an army out of these morons they're sending me? For the last time, what company are you with? A, B, D, or F? Let's humor them, Curly. Pick a letter. Okay, we'll pick B. You're with company B? Well, thank heavens I won't have to put up with you much longer. Well, what do you mean by that? Company B sails for overseas tonight. <laughs> overseas? Did you hear that, Remley? You jerk. 26 letters in the alphabet. You ought to pick the one that's going overseas. Now, look, sir, we're really not in the Army, you see. Silence! <laughs> I'm putting you two in the guardhouse until sailing time. You can't do that, Doug. We're going to stand do for that. it. Hold on. Put the only men in the guardhouse. Wait a minute. <laughs> hey, Alice. Gee, it was a good thing that you got here and cleared this whole thing up. They wouldn't believe that we weren't sold. If it hadn't been for you, we would have been on our way overseas now. Oh, come on, let's go home before you two disrupt the entire defense program. And tell me something. How did you fellas manage to get into the Army in the first place? Well, it was like this. We were walking along, minding our business, when out of an Now hear Hedda Hopper's informal show, then Theater Guilds on NBC.